Friends, do you know what is mass flow meter? How it works? And where it is used? In today's video, we are going to discuss the same. Mass flow meters are used to measure the flow rate. Mass flow meter is such an instrument that measures the amount of mass that flows, meaning how much mass flowed through a pipe. If it is explained in simple language, this is a flow meter designed to measure the quantity of the material that has passed. Meaning mass flow meters are used to measure the mass of liquid or fluid through a pipeline. Their measurement is done in kilograms per second, pounds per second, tons per hour in these units. Mass flow meters are used almost in all industries. This is the reason questions are asked from it in the interviews. Mass flow meters are used in process control, oil and gas, chemical processing, automotive production, food production, sugar industry, and in other industries. Mass flow meters are installed in pipeline or in other containers and the mass flow rate of the material is measured what is this mass flow rate mass flow rate means in a unit time meaning per second or per hour how much fluid flows if per hour 30 tons fluid flow so it became 30 tons per hour similarly you can also understand other units of mass flow rate. In this meter, mass flow rate is measured accurately by using flow tube, sensor, pressure transducer, temperature sensing elements, and display. To get accurate result, sometimes mass flow meters are also calibrated. Mass flow meters are used for flow rate monitoring and controlling. In mass flow meters, there is a display for monitoring the flow rate. On this display, you can see the flow measured by the mass flow meter. If we talk about their accuracy, then mass flow meters are highly accurate and reliable instruments which do precise measurement. Mass flow meters, in addition to the flow rate, can also measure the density viscosity of the flowing substance. Mass flow meters are also called Coriolis meter or Coriolis flow meters. The reason behind this is, these flow meters work on Coriolis effect. The basic operation of Coriolis flow meter is based on motion mechanics. Coriolis flow meters can measure very small rate from milliliters per minute to thousands of liters per minute. What is the Coriolis effect, and how is this related to Reynolds number? There is also a Reynolds number in the Coriolis effect, and this is an important parameter. If many people think that, what is Coriolis effect, and how it is applied in mass flow meter, and what is the role of Reynolds number in this? You will get the answer to this question. If you look at mass flow meters, you will find that in mass flow meters, a U type shape is there. Actually, these are the flow tubes of mass flow meter, which usually remain in U shape. These tubes are usually two. With these tubes, a curved channel is formed when the fluid passes through the mass flow meter. It gets divided into these tubes. Now, the Coriolis effect will take place in it. In the Coriolis effect, when the fluid is passed through a curved path, that force is measured or fluid force is calculated. When it flows through a curved path due to this force, the tubes get twisted and the phase shift occurs. This twisting motion is measured by the sensors. Due to the twisting motion, the tubes start to vibrate. The more the flow passes, more will be the phase shift. 
and the vibration is also faster and due to these flow rate will be higher similarly when there is less flow pass the phase shift is reduced now you would think what happens at zero flow rate at zero flow rate the phase shift remains zero so by this way accurate measurement of flow rate is obtained now let's understand the reynold number reynold number is also often asked in interviews reynold number is a dimensionless or unitless quantity which is the ratio of inertial force and viscous force inertial force is the force due to the momentum of the fluid viscous force is the force that opposes the relative motion between the layers it comes to know from reynold number that due to the coriolis effect how the motion of the fluid is affected reynold number determines the turbulence level in the fluid the coriolis effect affects the motion of a fluid and is strongly dependent on the reynold number also flow turbulence depends on reynold number the greater the value of reynold numbers the greater will be the flow turbulence and at a lower reynold number there will be less flow turbulence flow turbulence means irregular fluctuations in flow from reynold number flow as lamina or turbulent so you see how important the reynold number is in flow measurement reynold number is an important parameter in the coriolis effect